Please, I know you're in a hurry to see the king, but he is otherwise indisposed. And we, we would hope to avail you of some of the, uh, the sights and sounds of our eyes. He walks you over to a, a very nice, like, like, hut that's raised from the ground. Never pass by a good fortune teller in Dungeons and Dragons. I'm trying to stop them. You will. Very good. We're good. <laughs> we leave. <laughs> Thanks so much. I pat him on the head. <laughs> Two huge crocodiles, like, like on the beach, uh, and they're just savaging some people. Please take what you need from these these horrible beasts. I'm already. Skinny. I like pull yeah, off like, a leg and you just start <laughs> eating it like a chicken, like a turkey leg. It's awesome. <clears throat> now, when last we were together, you had defeated the brothers, a trio of giant crocodiles. Mm -hmm. You were celebrated for your victory in destroying these monsters that have been tormenting the Southern Isles. So you have a place of honor in the King's Banquet this evening. How long do we have before the banquet? Is time mm. for a short, short rest? rest? <laughs> That's definitely time for a short rest. Yeah, I think I, think yeah, I, think I want to rest a little that bit. Too. That might be nice. I'm feeling a little, um, you know, mm -hmm. <sighs> clump. Under the weather? Under the weather is good. After the fight with the crocodiles, I, I feel like we got this. We know what we're doing. Um, I did take quite a bit of damage, so I do need to rest. Because, you know, I'm sure something horrible is going to happen very soon. Just ready for a bath. Time to work on her hair. Get all the blood and gator guts off her. So, yes, she's quite ready for some pampering. I would love to kind of go back and relax in the place and maybe just take a little time to focus and, and get prepared for the upcoming evening. Yeah, me too. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 Let's do it. Let's head on back to the place and, you know, uh, rest up. Okay. I'm going to do four of my hit die. No. It needs to be a long rest. I'm going to do four as well. Oh, yours is just as bad as mine. Yikes. Um, Here's what's um, really annoying about this. Mm -hmm. I accidentally erased how many hit points I left off with. Whoops. So the only I thing I've got, that. well, I forgot about the, the resting part of things. So I'm sitting here at, the only thing that I see marked is 13, so I'm going to have to go off that, I guess. Okay. Which Ew. means I'm in trouble. So I'll roll all six of my hit dice. There you go. <laughs> go ahead. What are you all doing while you're resting? Let me ask you that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm brushing my hair and fluffing out my dress. And getting um, the Amanda out of it, my buff dress. Did <laughs> 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 you manage to get that it's character? Like, yeah. yeah, that's legit. Um, so I think I'm going to wear my black dress. Ooh. All right. You'll enjoy it. With my niece. <laughs> oh, why roll poorly? <laughs> what exactly does Accessory. our room look like right Four. now? What all is in the room? Uh, it's a very uh, well put together hut with a um, greetings basket of fruits and delicious treats and whatnot. There are various cots in there. Um, there is a separate, a separate hut for <coughs> cleansing, bathing, sorry. And uh, you have at your disposal uh, an attendant who's not in the hut with you, but is near the hut in case you need uh, I would like to, before I start the rest, I'd like to ask this attendant, I want to give him a silver and ask him if he could go buy me a small pouch, small cloth or leather pouch. He nods in agreement and, and hurries off to go get it. Thank you. And then I'm just going to be uh, resting and going over Pornage's book. I think it's funny, <laughs> man. I mean, you guys uh, are just hearing him book cackle. Oh, I think I'm good. Uh, cleaning up Millie by licking her. <laughs> Individual feathers. <laughs> and I've like put on my old clothes. <sighs> I will be like obsessively polishing my spiked gauntlet. And I will also be searching through my stuff to find those little jars of bugs that I promised you that we took off of you and saved. For That's later. right, I want my bugs. Oh. <laughs> All of them. So I am searching for those and considering possibly misplacing them. No, no, no. 
Go into a banquet. I want, I want them all. <laughs> Go into a <laughs> banquet. Yeah. They're my <laughs> friends and family. Oh no! I, I found this one jar with like a few spiders no, in all it. all of them. All. I have like a special call for them. Oh my god! <laughs> Where <are> the bugs? <laughs> ah. I would have been okay if those jar of bugs had just ended up missing. She'll find more bugs. We don't. It's okay. There are a lot of bugs in the world, especially in a freaking tropical island. I don't know if you've been to a tropical island recently. There are a lot of bugs. Big bugs. Made her a promise. I told her she let me take them off of her. I would save them in a little jar, which I keep with me, and I would give them back to her. Hopefully this will earn me some honesty and credibility points for next time someone needs to convince her to shed her bugs. We'll go with, you have time for a full rest. Okay. If you choose to take a full rest, it means you're not gonna be, have a whole lot of time to do anything else besides like get ready. Okay, but I can still have the guy go get me a little pouch, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> cool. That I'm into so. that. I'm into just chilling yeah, and ready. Yeah, I want And so the rest. hit dice we used, talk. what happened oh, with resting. that? But are we saying that she even used her yeah, hit that's dice? Yeah, okay. she did not, if she's taking oh, okay. a long rest. Yeah. yeah, so then we should have all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm getting yeah. back yeah. all my hit. You don't get back, well, <clears throat> she didn't yes, really because you didn't them. spend them. Yeah. What are you looking at? I'm and just still doing? looking up the hit dice. What are we doing? I don't know. I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That's what I asked you before. I'm cleaning Millie with my tongue. I'm wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's a t-shirt for you right there. <laughs> yeah. mm. yeah, maybe not a t-shirt actually. Yep. Nope. Uh, nope. Um, I'm still waiting on the guy to bring me back the little pouch. For a short while, he brings you back a small cloth pouch. Fabulous. Any change? Yeah. He's got like... Five copper. Keep the change. <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> yeah, he's very excited about it. He's I'm like, good with the, guy here. the tip is not necessary, sir. You are a guest. I understand, but I appreciate you taking the effort. And this looks like a fine quality pouch. Well done. No problem. Outstanding. Thanks. Um, a word, sir. Sure. You all will be joining the king for the banquet tonight, correct? That's, that's what we hear, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just saying this to you. <clears throat> no. You the rest of you are inside. You're still outside. Um, that's what we hear, yeah. We hope that all of you will be well cleaned and mm -hmm. presentable for the, the festivities. I have no concerns about yourself. You're a very well put together yeah. adventure, very stylish as well as, as brave. Yeah, thanks. Um, but in addition to all the crocodile blood that has spilled on you, there's just a, an air about one in your party. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. What was that noise? <laughs> Did I hear that? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, how can we get can we get levels of clean here? Like, are we talking like a ten, <laughs> or are we talking a? Have you met the king before? No. No. You I should actually. probably go for eleven. Ooh, really? One louder. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Give me um, back the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I will see what we can do. I'm not doing it again. I, we hope that uh, <laughs> weeks ago was the one time. <laughs> the one time. <laughs> I guess it was a week ago, but it would be much appreciated and kind of necessary to guarantee your full group be seated at the king's side. So if she's not at the 11, she might be in the back of the house. I think 10 would be acceptable. Ten, okay, so if we can get her to a 10, she'll be able to be up with us. Yes. Okay, all right. At least not a four. Not a four? <laughs> what if we got her to a seven? <laughs> that would probably suffice. I think you should shoot for the moon on okay, this one. Okay, we're gonna I think you should I, go for it. You know what, we gotta shoot for the moon because we're not gonna hit it. So we gotta get as high as we can and hope that she's gonna She's gonna work with us. Right. So, okay, thanks for the heads up. Uh, what was your name? Uh, I don't have one. Okay, <laughs> cool. I understand that. Name. On the Never DL. The name. If, <laughs> if I need you again, I'll be like, where's that guy? They're gonna know, right? Fair my, enough. Uh, He's never named. <laughs> ha Hakel. Hakel is my he name. He has no name. Hakel. I'm gonna remember that. Because Hakel, you've been you've been quite the helpful person here. I, I appreciate that. Um, we'll see what we can do. And uh, uh, we'll see you this evening. 
come up with a name of them. Uh, uh, he was just a guy. The Islanders are totally on the hero side. These are, these are good people. They're very inventive. Uh, they're creative. They enjoy, you know, a beautiful life. The king loves going there, so it's a very open arms, you know, let's hug it out and make sure we get, keep going forward smoothly. So, yeah, they're going to help the heroes of awesome. I'm going to spin around and be like, Cindy, I can... If y'all need anything, I'll be right here. Yeah. Where are the bugs? I gave them bug back. Babies. You gave them... Okay, <laughs> cool. Great news. <laughs> hey, here's the thing. Up. The bugs <laughs> and everything, we got we to gotta keep uh, Claire clean for this. Because it's the king and apparently he's kind of a neat freak. And uh, the bugs might be a bad idea. Understood. I don't think she will part with them lightly. I can just imagine her in the court with bugs going... <laughs> <laughs> like licking Millie. <laughs> totally content. You're seeing this, right? You're seeing this, right? I understand how this might be an issue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where's uh, Kira? <laughs> yes. So apparently we got to get Claire presentable for the evening... We have to do another makeover. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, have so you already... So much work. Have you already cleaned the dress? Yeah. Dang it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> in the process of, so they like won't let her in at all? Well, I think they'll let her in, but I don't think they're going to let her sit with us with the king. Oh. Which... And what if it might be a good idea to have someone with a different vantage point? This is what I was actually or thinking. Does That's attack weird. What are you guys whispering about? Lick Millie. Keep licking Millie. Also, Millie, you're hungry. Eat the bugs. Eat the bugs, Millie. Millie would never Millie. do that. <laughs> it looks really good. They are her family, too. really hungry, Millie. Are they, though? Yes. <laughs> She's forgotten so often. It's hard to imagine. That, <laughs> that, that is her only family. No, it's horrible. <laughs> that is, like, the meanest thing ever. <laughs> it's okay. Xana feels the same way. <laughs> I mean, the dream... The, it has a cobweb about, but it's not like shiny perfect yet. Well, I mean, I think I think if we can get her to like a seven out of ten, they want her an eleven. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get her to eleven. She is licking the bird. That's like inside yeah. my mouth. That's fine. <laughs> I just realized she's over my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, she's just been standing there. I have feathers in my teeth. <laughs> so, so Claire. Yes. Uh, you know how we did that makeover, and it was so. Fun and we all had a great time. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> okay, well, remember how everyone else really appreciated it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You were very I feel popular. like it would be really nice if we could do that again for the king, <clears throat> you know? <clears throat> I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I'm not doing it. No. Yeah, the thing is, Claire's got to realize that at some point, if we're going to be dealing with kings and stuff, she's, she's just going to have to make herself presentable. We do need to make sure he doesn't get assassinated. I, I can do that, I can still do that. See, but you can't if he, they won't let you near him because you are covered in bugs. And why do I have bugs. to be near him? I'm a ranger. Um, I guess we can decide whether we want that or it's not. It's a valid but... point, I think. I mean, she does have a valid point. I mean, if- I wouldn't mind her in the back of the room, ready to- yeah. If she's in the back, kind of hanging out. The main thing is, I think that's a good idea. The main thing is, Maybe we should make sure you're you're let in the room. That that how do I say all clear? we ask is no visible bugs and no visible blood oh, that's good. and minimal mud. Ooh, yeah, we could okay. even we could that even style know. the mud. Style the mud? Ooh. Yeah, like Ooh, in your hair, we give you this cool paint. slick back thing Ooh. with the mud. That would be... Fancy face paint. We're on an fierce. island. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh, we yes. could make the mud work. Mm. All we have... Just got to rearrange it a bit. No bugs, Still no there. blood. Still Fancy swirls, you. designs. My cool. clocks are getting very irritated with you guys. Well, Millie, they can sit with Millie and hang out. Difference. That's true. They Their older like sister can babysit them. <laughs> There's a plant in the corner they can eat. Okay. All right, yeah, okay. So we do have a lot of fruit here. I can like open up some fruit and maybe they can like Great. chill out on the yes. fruit for a little yes. bit. absolutely. Yeah, when we get back, <laughs> it'll just be a whole <laughs> bug jamboree. And I'll, I'll wash my face. I'll wash my face. Okay. I'll wash my face. And we'll, we'll yeah, that would great. be great. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, that's fine. Cindy, you want to help her out with that? Maybe okay. both of you? I don't you? need help. Oh. I can wash my face. Okay. 
hell to raise. Hell to raise if I lose my bug babies. Uh, I gotta work on something if you guys are good. I'm fine. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna go over there in the little sack I've got. I'm gonna take that uh, fancy ring I got, put it in there, tie it up, make it look presentable as like a bow, as a gift kind of thing. Make it look nice and fancy. A fancy ring? Thing. What fancy ring? I got a Are you fancy gonna give ring it to of the poison cake? resistance. Oh, oh right. Giving away. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. I am because I've got a feeling he might need some poison resistance. So. It's right. a good idea. Right. You know, right. it's just, it's just right. a thought. Good call. Okay, uh, other than that though, I'm gonna rest up. If she doesn't need anything, we're working on this, making a bow, because I suck at making bows. <laughs> Eight hours later. <laughs> Crap! We're out of time! Whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have a did ribbon? Do you have Give a me that. fancy bow in your hair? How did you do that? <laughs> I wouldn't say that's fancy at all. No, it's just like. I could see you having like a satin ri ribbon in your hair. <laughs> satin ribbon in my hair. Mm. La la la. I should probably clean up too because I've been wearing this armor for a very long time and De -blood. I'm rather bloody. A so yeah. 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 I will. Got a good funk going. <laughs> I mean, I think it's fair to say we're all going to bathe, yes. right? Yes. I'm going to bathe. <laughs> I mean, splash we're all going to splash oh, water on our faces. Yes. <laughs> yeah, remember, we got to get that blood off. Mm -hmm. Got to get the blood off. Mm hmm. Yep. Of your clothes as well. I'll help you with the laundry. So, that might be tricky. <laughs> get all the bugs out. The bugs are okay. I got the Do bugs. Do you have anything on under it? No, I'm, I'm totally nude. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could all bring your sheets. Like, I'll bring your sheets. You're like in the bathroom. I'm like, give me your underneath. clothes. And you're like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I throw you a sheet or a towel or whatever. I'm sure there's something. All right. Well, they're going to take care of you first. You walk out to the hut and there are a couple female attendants there making way for you. For me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've prepared a, a, a wonderful hot bath for you. Um, you don't have to worry about washing your clothes. We can take care of that. Mm, there we go. Uh, the full... Just let it happen. We're going to uh, pamper our guests. Don't mess up my hat, please. Your hat? Mm -hmm. What is your hat? <laughs> it's that the carcass of a <laughs> bear <laughs> doll. Oh, we got rid of that a long time ago. Yeah, we got rid of that. Are you I sure? Think, I think I still have it. We pinned it up to the tree. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we that's, just that's did. Yeah, that's... Damn it. <laughs> you haven't had a hat. You could have like other pieces of meat or whatever. My special meat. Rotted meats. Please. Yes. Take care. Ready, brave. Come in, come in. We'll take care. I wanted to get Claire to A, a point where she's alone, a place where she's alone, and B, a place where she is basically defenseless. So they needed to get cleaned up for the king. This is it, this is the last night. Amanda, did you Great. have your phone with you? Huh? Did you have your phone with you? Yes. You can text back a response if you like. Jeez, this, did you just type this up? I worked on it a little bit ago. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all were talking. Pretty much. <clears throat> um, so, what are y'all doing while she gets hosed down? <laughs> <laughs> Watching. No, <sorry. laughs> it's got to be a sight because you, they have to be like covering their mouths with the little thing of water and everything. I'm not nervous about what's going on here at all. You all notice Claire de Lune running around frantically naked. Oh God. Girl, Looking girl, for something. What oh God. Y'all, what's going on? Um, Claire? This didn't happen last time. I mean, she was nervous, but. <laughs> <laughs> Claire? Uh, I'd like how close, like, do I see anything? You don't see anyone. Claire? No trace. Claire? Uh, Guys. Claire, what's it? While I was being hosed down, <laughs> Bathed. Bathed. A, a guy in a white hooded whatever robe came in with some Knights of the Rose and said that if I didn't kill the king tonight, they were going to kill my sister. Wait, what? Yes. Just happened. I'm trying to find them. You're all looking around and you nope. see no one. They were, came, they how'd they? I don't know. Like all the people that were like hosing me down suddenly left and then... Uh, these people Pay just came off. in. I Oops. only had my bow and arrow, uh, but yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what to do. First, put some clothes on. 
Step I kind of like this. I mean, cool. I'm not sure. No one I mean... else does. I mean, great. <laughs> love your confidence. Love That's your great. self love, but maybe the just free. Maybe, um, maybe maybe defend against the possible onslaught of arrows yeah, and daggers. I mean, yes, Might, good call. Good yeah. Call. So let's start Some with armor. that. Um, where where exactly were we getting bathed? There's a hut, just a, a short walk away from behind you. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Um, get dressed. Anybody want to come with me to check this out? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, hurry up and get dressed. We're gonna go before we lose any scent of these. We probably things. shouldn't split up again. Like we should have two. We should have someone be at least near her while she's we'll like. Probably just have to look for tracks. I doubt they're gonna be hanging about. Yeah. Do I see any tracks from like where the bath hut was? Is it sand? What's you don't start? see any tracks. Can we smell them? Did, like, there's no indication of where they went at all. You see some of the women that were attending you returning with oh, your clean clothes. Okay, see I'm gonna go up to people. yeah. I'm gonna go up to these ladies and grab them by their robes and be like, who the hell was that? They seem very confused, like who's, who's what? Why did you leave so suddenly? We did leave. We, we all left to, to retrieve your laundry, but that's not what we usually do. What happened? Spell I let them magic. go. <sighs> magic! Magic? <laughs> Are you vexed? God. Are you naked? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I am. <laughs> both both <laughs> you really take a dial in life. <laughs> Her bath is interrupted. Who, how, hmm. First off, anytime you see somebody running around naked looking for something, what the heck is going on? How did they get in? What's going on? Who are these people? How did they make the people leave? Apparently this is, they're charmed or something. There's nefarious arcane dealings here. I want to work into Xander real quick. All right. Ooh, and yeah, I want yeah. Xander to like start getting some high ground and start looking all around, see if I see anybody wearing white robes, uh, red bands, anything around there. I have like gold jewelry on too. Gold jewelry. Looking gold, for anything like jewelry. that? Anything that shiny? Doing white? No. Yeah. No, it wasn't gold jewelry. Gold trimmings. I'm sorry. Gold trimming. On his on, white, on robe. white robe. Okay, so white gold robe. trimming in the white robe, looking for anything like that. We're going to start off at the, the hut where she was getting bathed, getting to the top of that thing. Don't see anything there. I'm going to just start working my way around the hut, seeing if I can see anything. Xander's darting around from hut to hut, looking throughout, and you do see, like, the occasional um, here and there member of the Knights of the Rose. Really? Uh, they don't seem to be doing anything nefarious. They mostly seem to be standing there, waiting, uh, maybe talking to each other. Is there one nearby? Uh, not really that close to where you all are. Okay. I'm going to word back out. Of Get back in. It's like, okay. There are Knights of the Rose scattered all over the place. I have my, my, my Why studded haven't armor the King's on. Guard right? done anything? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if they actually believe about it, the Knights of the Rose. We're not sure whether they really took that letter seriously. So, did you see anything? Like, where's I saw a bunch of red bands. I didn't see anybody with the, the white and gold robes or anything like where's that. Where's the closest red band? That way. I take off that one. Wait, slow down. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You Grab her arm. That Grab her arm. I was going to have <laughs> like, I'm, I'm with you on this. I'm with you on this. Listen, Claire. We won't. We will do everything we can to help you. But if you go run off and do something rash, they could bring back news that you're not cooperating, and it could hurt your sister. You have to be careful if you want to help her. That's, I know how hard this is. That's good thoughts right there. So here's the question: Do we play along with this, or do we try to get more answers? Because how do we, we get more play answers? Along? Like, what well, is the dinner There's a red band right over there. What if we're able to get this? Yeah, thing? I can. I can. Here's the other that. question. How much time do you think you have before the banquet if you've right. had a long rest? Oh like my god, very. there's not a lot of time. I think we're just waiting for how you look at your watch. Like. <laughs> Based on the sun uh, and my hair, yes. it is right about... Uh, we are three freckles past the <laughs> right. Oh my god, we're late. Okay. I assume we're just waiting for them to bring back our clothes, and then it's, so it's like an hour, um, maybe? Do the rest of you take time to get cleaned up? Well, yeah, I think we yeah, all like we bathed and everything. Because right. yeah. she was first. Um, oh, okay. I okay. So there was this alarming event that occurred. 
Oh, I fairly see early how on in the going. long rest. Oh, I see. I see where you're at. I see where you're at. So we would need to take the time even after this. Like you have time to get cleaned and to have your long rest. Oh, so we haven't. But you're not going to have a whole lot of time to do investigating. But sure. I could while they're doing their stuff. You're not getting your long rest. <laughs> already marked okay. stuff for a long rest. It I'll, already I'll happened. I'll fix it. <laughs> no, sorry. Right. I'll fix it. Since I can just trance out, I really only need four hours to get all my stuff back. Can I stay warged in Xander to keep an eye on what's going on while everybody else is getting ready? I can still take some time to get a bath, stay in Xander, keep an eye on things, maybe follow them around and everything just to kind of get an eye on what's going on. You can be spending part of your rest time just looking around as Xander, I believe. So where I'm at, resting's important, but I'd rather take the lower hit points and try and do something about this. I mean, that's a legit choice. Like, I feel like it's important to try and figure out at least what we're going to do and get as much information as we can, because this is a yeah. bad situation. Okay, well, how about this then? Let me, because they're not going to let us in if we're not presentable. So yeah, we have to get the blood out of everyone's stuff. We've got to get cleaned up. <laughs> let me get cleaned up. I'll work into Xander. If you want to take some short time and then go out, keep an eye on Xander. Let him be your eyes. And you can kind of see what's going on based on him because he's going to have a higher vantage point. He kind of knows what's been going on. I'll be able to direct you if you're following Xander. Okay. Is that fair? I'm going to go towards I mean, the direction you said the closest red band was. Claire, 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 wait just a second. Please don't go. Please, 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 Oh my god. Wait, what are you, you go you're our you best chance What, what are you okay, going to do? Her. All right. Oh god. So not doing the rest. I did the rest. I, I, so I can't do. No. Oh, you're doing the four hour rest? Or are you doing like the four hours? Uh, so afterwards? if I do the full rest, I can't do anything else. Well, you're, as a, as an elf, you can do something for like four hours. But you still have to have four hours. You will have to have four hours of rest. So if you go after this guy, you're not going to get your rest. I'm not going to get my hit points back. Nope. Fine. You could do that four hours after four hours. But it's just like, I can't imagine this happening and then me being like, I guess i got to go to sleep. I can't either. So yeah. I feel like I need to go after this person, which means I would have my previous hit point amount. I wouldn't get my... Yeah, correct. Okay. I would say and 22. I wouldn't let her I go would, off alone like that. And in, I, I would the roll some hit dice. Can saying. I do that? As, or is that like a short rest thing? Um, you could have that short rest since you were bathing and relaxing. And okay, so I'm going to roll some hit dice so that I, I'm i not back at 20, hopefully. It's a weird situation for her to be in. And she's like totally nude, but of course she's like ready to jump into action. She's like, all right, I'm going to follow you and see what the deal is. And of course, once Claire showed that she had no intention of resting, um, which made total sense, Sandy is not going to go rest and let her wander off, like, in wander off in that intense emotional state. She just wouldn't let that happen. Let me, while I'm resting up, let me get in, let me get in Xander and war again while I'm getting rested up. We have to be clean or we're not even going to get in the banquet to do anything. Okay. So we're going to have to be there. Let Xander be your eyes. Don't do anything crazy. Let him be your eyes. Follow him around. I'll be God and Xander. Okay. So just follow him around. You have the sending stone. I do. I'm going to give mine to Kira while I'm worked in so that you can talk to Kira. Mm -hmm. Okay? Please don't do anything without talking to us first. Mm -hmm. I'll do my best. Please, Cynthia, help us out with yeah. this. Thank you. Kira, I very gently take out the sending <laughs> stone, hand it over with two hands. Um, keep it on the best. Sweet little baby. Okay, so... Please don't confront anybody just quite yet, because this may be bad if you do. So just give us some time to figure this out. I hear you. Okay. 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 Claire, I understand how you feel. I understand let's, needing let's to just talk charge. and walk. Talk okay. or walk. Yeah. Talking and walking. <laughs> I understand why you feel like you need to just do something. I charged a castle because I heard a dragon. Mm-hmm. I punched a guy because I thought he was being rude. I get this feeling. Punched a guy. Okay. Someone's watching old episodes. I know, right? <laughs> I like, no, I think she just remembered. I think she that. did. Just that. Good job. Um, pretty fair. I understand this feeling, but our best chance to help your sister is to stay level-headed. I'm <clears> totally <throat> level-headed. Okay. I don't want to say that 
Claire is not able to stay level-headed in these interrogations. I will say that Claire's version of level-headedness is kill the red bands. All Where right. is the one that you said was close? Uh, let me let me get into Xander. Hold on, let me let me get in the bath first, and then we're getting Xander. <laughs> Can I move? Really this will be quick. This will be quick. Grief. This will be quick. Hold on. I'm running in the other room, <laughs> taking off my armor, yeah. Yeah. jumping ah, in the bath. Here's your. I already gave her the stuff. I'm jumping in the thing. All right, all right, go. <laughs> Cat's looking at Claire. Raises the pony like. <laughs> 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 Start heading that way. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's go. I think the tail should. So point does the Xander direction. lead her? Lead Z them to Xander leads to where they can get. I mean, within sight, but not close to where the red band is. It's actually pretty close to where the edge of where the merchants have set up, and you see a guy uh, with a red band and full armor haggling with uh, one of the merchants there. How many people are around him? I mean, there's lots of people there. Mm -hmm. um, he's the only red band you see immediately, but when you spend a moment surveying, you see that there are a couple others throughout the like business area. And what are the other ones doing? Um, one of them is drinking. Uh, with yeah. other people, or? Um, yeah, with, the, with another one. OK, and then the other one? Uh, another one is um, just walking around, kind of eyeing things. Okay. So the one that's walking around. Okay. Stealthy style. Sure. I'm going to follow <clears throat> and um, just follow him for a little bit. Give me a stealth roll. I want to keep close to her. Xander. Uh, Xander, yeah. 19. All right. He seems to be oblivious. To your following. I'm going to stay back so I can see her, but I'm not going to be like moving to follow her until she like gets out of like where I can see her and feel comfortable because I don't want to jeopardize the stealth. Alrighty. Um, as soon as we like get to a point where there's maybe an alley or some kind of like dark and shady place, what I want to do is grab him. So there's not really alleys. This is all kind of like open air market. Okay. Most of the buildings are. Uh, huts from every level to like small, humble to extravagant and like the richer parts of the island. You feel like you could probably duck behind a few huts as he's sort of patrolling. But it's not really going to be that concealed. It's just, it's, the subterfuge will last a moment. So she's too far for me to talk to her? I mean, you can see her. As she's following him kind of around, like, into, like, not quite the jungle, but, like, away from most of the population. And there are huts, like, everywhere. So he's moving away from everyone. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to keep on tailing him until I find an opportunity where I can grab him in a way that isn't going to draw attention. Okay. He's headed more towards, like, the affluent, which isn't very far from your guys' hut. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the island and there is a large hut that he's kind of turning around. Okay. You feel like your chance is right there if there's no one on the other side of that wall. Do I have any kind of intuition about that? Yeah. Not really. No? Okay, I'm going to grab him. I can see what she's doing, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like I know what she's going for because it's something that I wanted to do. Uh, but I see that there's a wall on the other side, yeah? Well, yeah, can Xander go ahead? and? Can I just like jump up on the wall and kind of see what's going on the other side? Uh, yeah. I want to jump up on the wall and see what's on the other side. Um, well, you're actually kind of like going around the corner of the hut. Okay, and sure. there does not seem to be anyone else there. He's walking towards a, a, a hut further down. And there doesn't seem to be anyone inside. So I'm going to, Xander's going to stick his head back around and be like, meow. Meow, <laughs> meow. <laughs> it is a little odd that Xander's like, with his paw like this. It's like, all right, I get it. I'm following you. Just like, just be a cat. You don't have to like, whatever. All right, so you strike <clears throat> and he's got his back to you. He doesn't see you. Okay, I, I come up behind him. I have the dagger that 
I got from another red man. Mm -hmm. I used that dagger and I have it up under his chin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have much money. I um, buckle the back of his knees so he's on, okay. so he collapses. All right. Uh, he drops to his knees like, oh God, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. So I kill slowly me. walk around in front of him and I have like the blade like pressing into his throat. So who are you? You sure you don't know who I am? I, I don't and I like push it in deeper. I, I don't know who you are. Are you the girl? What girl? The girl who's supposed to do what she's supposed to do. Maybe. What do you know about me? Um, uh, your, your name is Claire DeLune. Mm -hmm. And the boss has plans for you. Um, is your boss here? He's not. He's Who, not here. Who's the guy in the white robe? Um, I, he's, he's friends with the boss. I, I can't tell you much about him. He, he actually hangs out with the king. He actually hangs out with the king. Yeah, he's, he's someone who's in the king's court, I think. What's his name? I, I don't know his name. Is he a magician? I, or, or, I'm sorry, a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> like Pardon now. me. <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> I, I don't know. He dresses <laughs> like one. Right, okay. I've, I've only seen him on this island. I've never seen him before, and I've only seen him very briefly with the king here. Who's in charge of your operation? There's, there's some lieutenants that have, are overseeing. Um, I mean, we have, we have a small army, so I don't know if I would do anything rash. Oh? You gonna tell me what to do? No, no, I'm just saying that I, I don't wanna die here. I'm... I don't want my sister to die. She's, she's comfortable from what I understand. She's okay. I don't want to be used as a pawn to kill the king. I can understand that. So what do we do about that? I, I, you have me at the tip of a dagger. I'm afraid I don't know what to do. I am really just patrolling, and I... What are you patrolling for? I'm just looking for any kind of signs of trouble. Well, if you want to live through this, you need to give me some ideas on how I can get out of this situation. <clears throat> I don't think even all four of you can take on the squadron that's here. There's... That doesn't seem very helpful. I mean, you m might be able to kill one of the lieutenants if you get the drop on them, and I can do whatever I can to help you do that, but... I don't know if that will stop what's in motion. What's in motion? Well, plans to kill the king. Well, is there a backup plan if I don't follow through? Um, they'll find a way, from what I understand, but uh, they're really counting on you for this dinner. Where are you, Cynthia? Yeah. That's well, a good question. <laughs> I am, I guess when I see her, like, attack the person and there's no longer need for stealth, I will come out. Like, Andrew, yeah? To be clear, I want to make sure that I'm watching to see if anybody's coming, just to be clear. Oh, yeah. All right. Awesome. That's awesome. Out. You don't see anyone nearby. You come up and you see she has this red band um, on his knees with a dagger to his throat. And he's, like, really anxious and worried that she's about to kill him. As you approach, up. he's saying something to the effect of, I don't know if you can stop all of them. And... You know, she is the plan. Is that your only plan for her? For her? I, you have to understand, I'm probably not going to be that much help. I don't, I don't really know what the orders are. I'm, I'm pretty low in, the, in rank. I just, you know, I, I don't really know. Can you take us to someone who would? I, Do, can, I, can I tell if he's lying? Can, can I try use that roll? Zone of Truth is a second level spell and I'm out of... <laughs> oh. I can do... I can roll what? You can roll Insight. Sure. 23. Oh. Well, I mean, that was a natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, He seems pretty legit afraid of you and very intimidated, like he would spill whatever beans he has. Um, and to answer your question, he says, 
I, I can take you to a lieutenant. I, I don't know if that's exactly what you want to do, but... Why is it not what I want to do? Well, they're, I mean, they're very strong. They're very, they're very fierce and deadly, and I fear them as much as I fear you right now. I look at Xander. Well? <laughs> well? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Meow meow. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Bless his heart. I should have known better than to ask. I do have the tendency to try and talk to animals and expect a lot from them, but I still can't do that yet. One day, hopefully. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to put the kibosh on some things if she does get speak with animals. Uh, at this point, you've got this loop going on. It's a little bit too powerful. I rest. Cat talks. You understand. No. So you're not proving to be very helpful to me. You tell me how I can help and I'll do it. You, I, I'm waiting for you to come up with an idea. I, maybe I could kill one of the lieutenants. I, I don't know if that can stop the, what's in motion, though. Why are you working for the Red Vans? And it's, I didn't have any prospects. I didn't have anything. There's this group that if you're tough, if you have a penchant for violence, you will do well. You are holding an innocent girl prisoner and threatening her life. You're doing this because you had no prospects? I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I, I did not make anyone hold that girl. I only know she's there. I know she's comfortable doesn't seem like that big of a deal. That big of a deal. Mm, yeah, dude, really? That big of a deal. I mean, she's okay, she's fine. She's a little girl <laughs> that you stole, that you ripped from my family. My, my father was killed for this. It doesn't seem like a big deal to you. Meow, meow. <laughs> meow. I'm like, Rub it up against her leg. Meow. <laughs> Meow. His breath starts to get just kind of heavy. I need a really good reason to keep you alive because I don't really see one. I guess I don't really have one. I slit his throat. <laughs> Meow. Oh, Meow. <laughs> oh my god. It jumps over dead, bleeding into the sand. <sighs> That's what happens. Sandra's gonna go over oh, and start no. pushing the sand over the blood. I'm gonna I'm gonna meow. move his body. Will you help me? Meow, meow, meow. Move meow. the body. Meow. <laughs> Do you see any in? Go somebody. Somebody. I'm like Xander, Xander look for people. How does sending stones no. work exactly? Are they like she has to know and notice? She's too focused on anything. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Like, what the hell's oh. going on? I feel on? like I am playing this character very, very true. I'm happy I with agree. it. Um, are, so I agree. So, Xander, are there on. any people around? Looking around. You don't see anyone, but you don't know how long that will be. Okay, I'm going to move it around the wall. I know. <sighs> okay. And I'm going to leave that red band dagger in his throat. And walk away. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have blood on me. Meow. Claire, come in, Claire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is going on? Nothing much. We're heading Mark's back. Mark's work body is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching him in the tub? <laughs> like a <laughs> creep? I can't spot him every now and again. <laughs> Xander hears that and he's like, Mark. And Mark back is like, stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. I didn't know what was going Just on. stop it. I heard slashing. Stop. I'm going to worm back into Xander. Be like, Meow. Um, well, there's Tarwheel's in the bath. There's a lot of bubbles. Keep an eye on him because he's warging, like, in a body of water. So just, like, glancing in every now and again. And then I notice as I'm, you know, just doing the laundry, he's starting to, like move and twitch. I'm like, oh my god, things are happening. I tried to call Claire with the sending stone. She was not listening and didn't care because she was in it. And so I knew something bad was going down, but yep, had no idea. I thought this was just going to be a soaking bath. It's just me kind of hanging out. I didn't know Kira was going to be creeping the whole time. What's that all about? 
I am really conflicted right now. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> On many levels. <laughs> oh, not about that thing, about the fact that we just killed somebody and... You didn't do it, I did it. I stood there, it's the same thing. Mm. It's all right. I mean, they are, they're holding your innocent sister prisoner, but at the same time, <clears throat> it's someone who was... Meow, meow, he wasn't meow, even meow, high meow. in their meow. ranks. Meow, meow, meow. Yes. The cat is silently trying to meow, meow, meow. <laughs> get your Let's attention. Let's go back. I'll, we'll follow meow. you. We'll follow you. All right, we'll so we'll you. lead them through a Xander around. Back to a less populated way back. Yes. Right. Especially with the blood all over her hands. No, I'm clean. Oh, you're clean? Like, what? In the she cleaned up. Sand. Okay, then cool. All right, I get him back. War out of Xander and get dressed. <laughs> Your clothes are ready. Thanks. Thanks. Why are you still here? <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay. All right. You're just like it wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> whatever guy wants to hear. Yeah. All right. I just, whatever. Get dressed. Things I thought were pink were, gonna, were actually brown. <laughs> Things you thought would be symmetrical were not. not. You know. That's going to get edited out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? So, murder. Uh, who did who? Who do you think? She found him. She found him and he's the oh. dead body on the <laughs> side of the road now. Um, okay, we have learned. So basically what we learned is nothing. That's what we've learned. Claire is the plan for killing the king. Uh, I'm sure they have a backup. So they, are they still going to poison the fish? We don't even know if that's a thing. Oh. I do feel bad that he died because of his nonchalant, because that's more me. Not really knowing what to say in that situation, which I guess he wouldn't know what to say in that situation either. But he was like a low man on the totem pole. He didn't know anything. She found a guy and he didn't know anything and he had died for it. So. But how do we, if your sister mm -hmm. is way far away up north. Question, yes, that's what I was thinking. It's going to take them a long time for them to figure out that you didn't do what you said. You Maybe they have a sending stone. Maybe <laughs> they do. We're the only ones in the world with those. <laughs> that's how that okay. bites us in the butt. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> we didn't even use it. True. If he, they're telling you that if you don't kill the king, they're going to kill your sister. No one high in, no one who's the absolute leader of the Red Band, of the Knights <coughs> of the Rose is here. So what can we do so that we don't have to, so that neither of them dies? Well, the only thing we can do before dinner is try and get some word to the king or his guard. Of what? That I'm going to try and assassinate him? No, the, literally the, peep, the fear that we told him about is here. We've seen them. Well, if he didn't listen to us before, why is he going to listen to us now? Because they're walking around drinking beer everywhere. Here, here's a question I have. Because what we heard from this guy is that you were their plan to kill the king. Mm -hmm. If you were their plan, they knew we were coming here the whole time. Or they somehow got that letter and found out we were... On our so way. Then they had to have we something, here, yeah. That they were because the white guy works for the king. Before. He's like he's a traitor. Fair, but they had and to have something in plan before you. And yeah, but, for sure. And okay. And more importantly, if they only figured this out recently, they kidnapped her sister a long time ago, and they haven't hurt her. We need. If this is a new plan to use her to assassinate the king, then why did they have her sister before? Or was it just some? She was some general bargaining chip. I think it, assassin I, for whenever they need it. Who knows? I don't know. Because they want Claire. Guys, here's a here's a crazy question, and I'm speaking metaphorically here. What if we kill the king? I'm on board. Wait, no, I'm not what talking about kill, kill. Hold on. What if we ruin the dinner, and make it so the dinner can't happen? Well, I'm not saying we actually kill him, but what if we figure out a way to make it seem like we killed him? That'd be fun. Now, I'm Do not sure. Yeah, what if he, what if he, what if he doesn't still have even that box? show up Do to we the still dinner? Have that box? I have that box. <gasps> Can we, like, store the king in the box and make it he Can just you disappears? you look like the king? <gasps> da, da, da. Yes. Still, yes, we have I to can. get to the king. But I have to see the king. Dinner. I haven't yeah, seen the king. Yeah, we got to get to the king to, to make okay, this work. Okay, so. How do, how do we do this? One of us gets in the box with the king. That's the only way that we can be realistic and we can earn his trust. 
Because he's not going to get in this box by himself. He already feels threatened. Who knows how he read that note? If one of us gets in the box with him, then that is Does our the box sign of good faith. Hold more than if it holds a person. I'm betting it can hold two people. It can hold a little human. <laughs> we could try a it real quick and see how many people can get in. She's it. big, isn't she? Who's got the box? I got the box. She has it. I okay. open up the box. I'm going to get in the box. Get in the box. Tara will sticking his toe in the box, yeah. in the miniature chest. I'm not getting in the box? No. It doesn't work? You don't know how it works. Some magical thing. <laughs> Do you have there some There are instructions on it? Nope. Do we solve the goo? Do you have like a Oh yeah, did we get like a jar of the goo? I mean, I can, I can the take- The goo just conceals that it's magical, I think. You never know. I can you learn know exactly how it works, it but I have to spend the time in the rest doing that. I could see tons of problems with my put him in the box, fake his death idea, but what I couldn't see were any better plans, so I was really disappointed when that box didn't work. This dang chest. I think we all just assumed like, oh, you just hop in and it's no big deal, it totally works. You just, just, it's fine. The problem was no one actually had the opportunity to study that chest. And it's gonna be a little bit more than just kind of looking at it for a little bit. I think you're gonna need to go to a library. <laughs> I do like the idea of, I get in the chest. You get your toe in. It looks kind of funny. So what's the full plan before we commit to this completely? Well, we can't even get the box to work, yeah, so how do we... Work. He's saying he can try. But it's, it's going to take... It'll take me, we've, got, we've got four hours. <laughs> but the dinner's happening now. Is the dinner um, happening now? We've still got time. Soon. soon. How good is your major illusion? Before four illusion? hours, right? Yes. How good, what is, how good is a major illusion? Can we make it look like the, she kills the... I, I can't do that kind of illusion. Okay. I can't like make a movie or anything like that. <laughs> Why not? Can Take the king out. just disappear and she says she did it? She can take some <laughs> some personal thing, like take a crown or something and be like, yeah. he would never give this up. It's done. Specifically, what did they tell you to do? They told me just to kill the king. To kill the king. Yeah. Didn't necessarily have to be at the banquet, anything like that. I mean, that. they did sure. say... So tonight you'll kill the king. Yeah, tonight you will kill the king or your sister dies. Yeah, I wish I could amend that task because I meant to say tonight kill the king or your sister dies. If you tell anyone your sister dies. She immediately runs out and says, oh my God, I'm supposed to kill the king. I'm like, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. I, th I think... Cindy's idea is a good idea. If we can somehow get to the king and be like, look, it, this is happening tonight. If you just stay put, give us something that could indicate that maybe you are dead. We could postpone whatever bad thing is going to happen tonight because they're going to figure out a way to kill you. I'm not completely like um, again, shooting down the plan, but why would he believe us? And this also, is your plan. I yeah, know. This is what I <laughs> wanted to do this 20 <laughs> minutes ago, and you're like, why would he believe us? So, why would he, how, what are we going to do for why would he believe us? <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, we need to just get in front of him and like argue the case. Unless we can all persuade him. But. It, I'm not sure this one's as good, but what if it looks like she tried and we stopped her somehow? But they could. Are they I, still I, going to, together? Is that too risky? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to risk. What if? Okay, I'm gonna. I want to jump back for a minute. I'm gonna say, what if we kill the king? No, I'm not saying we kill the king, Claire. No. Is there a way that I could use my knowledge in the fine arts of arcana and and potions and things like that to make something that could uh, make him appear to have died from the golden gill. Or what if you actually poison okay. him? No. And then we've got, you've got no, a ring and ring we can both afterwards. do things with poison if it's not, you know, super yeah. immediate death We treat poison. it afterwards. Like some sl sleep things over your sleep spell sucks, but something close <laughs> to that. <laughs> no, in well, case you didn't it's know, you. In case that you know, sleep that spell spells is real duker. Really sucks. <laughs> Ah, it was so tricky. There was nothing that seemed like the clear-cut right path. Would I be able to know that with all my studies? Something that I could put together with this stuff? You're pretty familiar with a clerical spell that can do that. A clerical spell that can do yeah, that? Yeah, you, you don't know the spell, but you know that you've, you've heard of clerics doing that, putting people on a face, a false death. I've heard Ooh. Kira of some clerics? I think that's above my pay grade. If you guys work together? <laughs> I don't have it. I can look, I can. Oh, 
look at my brain space. You feel like if you had time, I was like, you yeah, could if I had do time, that. Okay. Oh, man. If I had time, I could do that, but we don't have time. We don't have time. And I don't how, know how if much we have... time would it take? Uh, well, uh. they get there to rechoose their spells mm -hmm. with a long, long rest. rest. And we're at the end of a long rest. So. Yeah, at the end of it. Totally I end. like <laughs> the plan of kind of poisoning him. But how are we going to poison his food? I know. Well, we're sitting I next can. to him. Okay, we need two we need. adventures ago. We got to stop his food from being poisoned. <laughs> this adventure, we got to poison his I food. Don't wanna, <laughs> I, would, I don't want to poison him and risk him actually dying. If we can I'm use something that. that could make him. Um, we don't have so any. You want we don't have any way to switch. Like, we don't have. Weight you to do have that. actually served in the army that this king is the commander oh. of. What? Yeah, I was. That was some backstory <laughs> thing. I always. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've never met him. You've never uh, even I met didn't like. Really know this before. You've never even been like six degrees of separation with him. But, but you know how they're ranking. You've served in his army. So what is our plan? You should poison him. I'm uh, not poisoning no, no, no. him. <laughs> She's the one that can get close to him. Yeah, she could do it. No, 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 no. She's the one that get close to him to save him. Okay, and poison him. Then we're not two for. She could do both. <laughs> I really don't want to poison him with something that could actually kill him. Like we don't know how this poison that we have. I think Claire works, has to be seen. Quickly. Yeah, I have to be the person that's responsible you. for. You are going to have to get close to the king as a loyal member of his military. Former or retired. For, former retired. does not have the gear. Does not have I, retired. I do have oh, some they still mark respect of being, having been in the military. Yeah, that's right. Will you're a veteran. Mark of yeah, you're a veteran. veteran. You're a veteran. I can prove that I was in the army. There you go. Great. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Use that to get close, and you can be the one to remove the poison, save him. I can get him the ring that will resist the poison, so he shouldn't be all the way dead. True. <laughs> this is risky. Risky business. It's very risky. It's super risky, but do we have another option? Why would he believe us now? I mean, we could try. We could try. Where, where's, where's uh -huh. Ak Akel? Akel? Yes, my friend. Akel, uh, hey, look, we're about to head out because I know it's getting late. We need to be heading to the banquet. It is. The sun is getting close to where it's looking like it's going to set. Running out of time. Look, I have a gift I would really like to present to the king before this. I don't want to make a big deal about it. We've brought this a long way. Would really love if I can just get just a couple of minutes of his time before we get there. I would direct you to him. I would take you to him. That'd be fabulous. Great. Okay. He's already left. Can I get him on the way before he gets over there then? Um, we'll try to intercept him real quick. I just, I don't want it to be a big deal. I'm, uh, I don't See, want he takes a scenic view of okay. the island. Perfect. Okay. okay. Um, They're all about the scenic views here. They are, are right? This is an island. <laughs> good. That's true. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he travels around the, the solemn shallows where the... Little, little parade of sorts. Where the uh, banquet will be held with a beautiful view of the sunset. Fabulous. I would love to. If you, if you could just take us there real quickly so that I could just get the... Again, I don't want to make a big deal out of it. Just, it's a little token that we have that I would really love to give him. Um, is, is everyone ready? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Everybody yes. ready? Everybody's ready? We're ready. Put your clothes on. We're ready. Put your capes on. Okay, well, well, follow me, we'll go. Absolutely, let's go. Uh, uh, I assume you'd like to approach from the other side of the solemn Whichever shadows. is the fastest way to get there to meet him before we get to the, to the banquet. Who has weapons and armor? I do. Heck yeah. Everyone's fully loaded? Oh yeah. yeah. Lack and loaded. All right. They're all shiny. I shined them all. Says hopefully you won't need your weapons, but they are rather showy, so um, you'll clump there are around. formal weapons. <laughs> Mm-hmm, they're fancy. Our formal weapons. Our, our banquet weapons. <laughs> yeah. Looks the same as your crocodile killing weapons. <laughs> Polish the blood they're off. all shiny. <laughs> all right, so he hurries you along the other side of the lagoon. And you see, you're going by where they're making the preparations. And it's gorgeous. There's a long banquet table. There's pyres being set up on either side of the table. Uh, lots of smaller um, tables being set up. You're pretty interested in the chairs. They're being tested out. They are. They look like stools, and yet they're designed in a way that they actually swivel around all the way. Um, he explains that it's for like maximum viewing comfort. Mm. Um, we're very proud of those chairs. They don't have them anywhere else in the kingdoms. Uh, but he continues on and kind of points off little things, and it, but hurries you along. Are these all the swivel chairs right here? Those are the tables. Okay. There's like four at each chair. Cool chairs, man. Swivelly chairs. 
The stools are very pretty. They're pretty. I like things that are spinny. No, I don't notice the chairs at all. <laughs> there are chairs there. <laughs> oh, the chairs are the key. <laughs> this is just another way to show off a little bit of like, you know, how inventive they are for their own purposes. They don't care that much about intense weaponry because they're not warlike. They're more interested in making sure they have a good view of a beautiful sunset, a beautiful woman, uh, have their drinks, what have you. Well, I also like just throwing things out there and just like kind of like let them ponder it for a little bit because as a DM, you notice if you mention a thing, it becomes a big deal. Coming down from a, uh, a very uh, forested, um, almost like a little jungle hike, is you see uh, a regal man dressed in a long cape, long flowing hair, good scruffy beard. Um, he's got a great sword at his side, a bow at his back. You can only assume it's the king. His clothes, despite just going on a hike, are, are pretty immaculate. Um, he looks robust, a man of his, of his mid-40s. Uh, he's surrounded by a guardsman, none with Red sashes. Is the white robed dude there? Do not see a white robed man. Mm -hmm. So taking everything I learned from my father's time as an envoy, I will present myself as he's approaching in a deferential way to his royal highness and uh, kind of motion everybody to uh, follow along with everything we got going on. So like uh, <laughs> leaning forward is this. Says, <laughs> Your Highness. Hello. How, how can I help you? Uh, sir, I have a gift for you to begin with. Uh, and I, I bring out a little. I think the guards look a little weary. It, weary. This is. You should introduce us. Good point. <laughs> I know Using that my you. skills as a delegate. Yeah. <laughs> whatever, whatever. I didn't actually go with him. I just learned. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's a gift <laughs> from us, and uh, we are um, good friends of the kingdom and loyal subjects to yourself, our kind Lord Gretelfin. What? I, I'm getting there. Hold on. Jeez. There's formality and flourishes and crap. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Tarwil Kinnarayim. Uh, my associates. He gets this hint of familiarity in his eyes. So, your name again? Tarwheel can arrive. No, you but Oh. Interesting. And your associates? Claire Dillard. Se Sendia? I never came up with his last name. I'm realizing this only now. Sendia, <laughs> your last name. Sendia, last name. Sendia, last name here. Insert name here. I'm Kira Knightley. The Heroes of Awesome. Yes. <laughs> always has been. <laughs> always has been. It's always been Kira Knightley. <laughs> Not spelled. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you don't know who Kira Knightley is. <laughs> oh. I love it. I love it's, it. Oh, it's, it's okay. Fine. So good. There will be a fun little fact about Kira Knightley below. There will be. Um, yes, you wrote me a letter warning mm -hmm. me of some dangers. Have you heeded those First. warnings? What gift do you have? Uh, I will you can't tempt a king with a gift. Of course not. From a loyal subject. I will, uh, I will show him the, the bag sir, for you, sir. Uh, he has the guard bring the, the bag to him. The guard looks in the bag, hands it over. It's a ring of poison uh, uh, immunity, right? Well, yes. I, you are very well versed in the magical world there, aren't you? That was a bit of an adventure myself. Really? Mm -hmm. Exciting. Did you study the magical arts, the arcane? Afraid I did not. I studied the sword arts and the arts of cutting people in half if they would endanger our kingdom. I do notice a great sword by your side. It seems as if you have kept up with those studies in. Uh, it's mostly for show now. I'm like smiling really big. I know. I was like, Claire's going to be oh, oh my oh, good Lord. Is he a big guy? He's a big guy, right? He's kind of tough yeah, looking. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just like taking him in. I'm like, okay, cool. You look regal. That's what I expected. And then he talks about how he's like really into like slashing things and he's kind of a big boy and that's how I like him. So Claire's a little smitten with him. Just 
little bit, just a touch. This is a gift we would like to give you um, as a group, uh, as, as a show of our loyalty and uh, our concern. You're worried about the fish. I, I am concerned about the fish. Among, among, mm. other, among other things. things. The golden gill will be fine. I've had the golden gill every few years. It's it, delicious. It's not necessarily the fish. It's what could be done to the fish. Oh, you think someone's going to poison the fish itself? Yeah. You had a lot of concerns about, uh, about my well-being. I appreciate that. We know that there is a group of people here trying to assassinate you tonight. Who is here to assassinate me? The Red Bands. Who are the Red Oh, you mean the Knights of the Rose? Yes. Well, they wear the red sash on their arms. They're very obvious. I've seen them. Yeah. And they're here to kill you. Yeah. I've been here for a good couple of days, and they haven't made an attempt on my life yet. They're trying to frame it in a way that they don't look responsible. If you eat a fish that is known to sometimes be poisonous, and you get sick and die from it, then it looks like it was just an accident. That seems like a pretty good attempt, but if I wear this ring... You'll be fine. I'll be fine, right? Right. But we also know that they're going to try multiple methods. What other methods are going to take? Whatever it takes. Then they plan on killing me at the banquet tonight. Tonight. Well, I have a, a heavy guard, and from what I understand, you're going to be joining me at my table. Oh. As my loyal subjects, uh, you slayed three giant crocodiles that have been tormenting these isles as long as I've been visiting, if not centuries longer. We're also worried we don't have all the information because one of your, um, someone in your army was seen with the red bands, like working with them. Someone we were told who's a member of your guard. So while they're doing this whole conversation, I'm going to be looking really closely at all of his ranks, like the mm -hmm. whole time, to see if anyone is taking extra interest in the information she's giving, and especially when Kira says that someone in his ranks is working with them. They are all blank faced stoic. Okay. They are, from what you can tell, really good soldiers. Stone cold killers. <laughs> what do we know about? The king, like, is he, does he have family? Does he have anything like that? From what you remember from your time at the king's stub toe, um, the king is beloved, yet never married, has no heirs. He's, he's the, the kingdom has been at peace under his reign. Um, he's often traveling to ensure that peace remains. That's why he's on this trip, from what you understand. And he's been you know, working out trade deals here and there and just keeping everyone happy. Looking at him, he seems like a smart, resourceful, strong man, charismatic. But he doesn't have family that we know of. Does not have any family that you know of. Okay. But even like brothers and sisters or something like that. You are unaware of any okay. um, immediate heirs. And he doesn't have a wife, so there's that. So Who I told you someone in your thing? party is cohorting with red bands. Yeah, who who in my guard is coordinating with these red bands behind my back? I don't know his name, but uh, he has on a white robe with gold trim. I think he's a wizard. A gold wizard. What, what did you see of his face? I describe exactly what I saw of his face earlier today. You didn't see anything of his face. I didn't. It, it was, was all completely just completely shadowed by the robe. Mm. You're actually you're assuming male. It was a slender figure, but you couldn't male. really necessarily tell, and the voice was whispered in a way that you can't really tell. God dang it. Um, well, I don't keep too many people nearby that have magical abilities. Uh, I mean, back at court, I have uh, an ally who's a sorcerer, but uh, he's been my friend all my life. Is he here? No, he's Great. back at court. And are, you, are you sure? I, I'm positive he's not been with us this entire journey. Is he a slender man? 
Um, not necessarily. Okay. <laughs> a whole lot of love, if you know what I mean. I, I wish we could question who this person is. I, I wish I could, too. Um, you seem intently focused on that particular part of this murder plot. I, I want to try and keep you alive, uh, but, you know, they're, they're threatening me as well. How are they threatening you? They basically said that if I don't kill you tonight, they're going to kill someone I love. And this is the men with the, the red bands on? Knights of the Rose. All right, well, you'll have my help in rooting them out and destroying them as soon as we finish our banquet. You know, I did mention that I was asked to kill him, and he didn't make a big deal about it. He was really chill about it. So if that's his thing, but I can make that fun. I don't know. <laughs> Um, as she said, they are threatening her family. Uh, her her sister will die tonight. What well, what would you have me do? I, you you must understand. I have just met you. Yes. And I will do anything I can to help loyal subjects of the kingdom, especially those willing to lay down their life to protect me, to risk everything to give me word of danger. But I have not seen this danger don't know any details about this danger. If, if I do not attend this banquet tonight, there is actual danger involved with that. What kind of danger? Well, my visits are not just for show and for glad handling, they're for establishing relationships and for furthering the peace that I have fought all my life to uphold. Who's in line for the throne? Sadly, I have not found the one yet. <laughs> Looks at Claire for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other, didn't he? <laughs> Nervously. There has to be some. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. For <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that's what they're banking on. Um, I mean, that would make sense. Do we delay the banquet tomorrow? Do they not just kill me tomorrow and your, your loved one this evening? The, the only way that we have found... It dawns on him, it's like, you're supposed to kill me. But the thing is, if I don't accomplish it, even if you lock me away, they're going to find another means to do it. And the thing is, I don't want to kill you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Good. I mean, I'm here, I'm talking to you, I'm telling you that. This is... <laughs> I'm just, I want you to know if, if, if it's not me, it's going to be somebody else. Mm. And it, it's going to happen tonight. What, what choice do we have but then to let the killer make, take their shot? There, if I... I have you at my side. I have her. my guard. <laughs> but the th it's a complicated thing because if they don't think that I did it, then they're going to kill my sister. You would have a stake like you. you killed me. I like this idea that you mm -hmm. had. That's a, that good, is a great yeah, idea. You are a you very are a wise genius. man. A wise, oh. wise ruler. So smart. So when they ask for my head as proof, how do you provide proof? They didn't. Message. They just, they're and, here. And you don't think that they'll want they're proof know. of the death. I mean, they're watching. There, there has to be another way that we could provide. They, they obviously have a long game. If they're vying for control of the kingdom, and I'm sword. dead, and then I show up two days later. What then? The whole conversation with the king was making me very wary, and I didn't like the way he was so readily agreeing with what we wanted to do for him when he had basically ignored our letter and had been walking around with red bands. I really didn't get how red bands had just been moving around the city without anyone caring that there's another army here while the king is here. It's a little surprising that he's willing to go along with what we're suggesting. Having said that, everyone in all the kingdoms we've been in, they talk about what an amazing person he is and how he's led to so much peace and prosperity in the kingdom. I mean, if this is a, a good and benevolent king, Maybe it makes sense that he's willing to go along with this. Maybe it makes sense that he would be willing to help save Claire's sister. 
Although we need to get his army to round up all the red bands. Well, here's a question. This is an island. There, there can't be too many ways. Exactly. There can't be too many ways off the island. The, the person who approached you with the, the cloaks who seems to be in charge of anything, they're going to need to get off the island. But if there is a way that that is not allowed, you have mighty ships and a mighty army here. I think you overestimate my army. My army is a personal guard. Damn. There are locals, though. They... I bet they can be rallied to our side, too, but... If any word gets out, her loved one is, is in trouble. And there are magical means of conveying a message. You said this man on the inside was a wizard. There are. Surely he knows Ooh, how to get word to them without leaving the island. This is the episode where I disappoint the heroes <laughs> of awesome I know. every turn. Every turn. Yeah. These are the worst. There is no good way out of this. Just, I, I mean, the thing is, like, if you were to fake your death tonight, at least it would buy us a little bit of time. And that's, I am willing to do so. How do we do that? If they don't poison me, they have to assume that the fish killed me. Anyone with any real knowledge of the Golden Gill will know that I've eaten the Golden Gill before. I'm, I'm immune to the Golden Gill. Ah. Which was the thing I established last time. Hey. What if Claire de Lune here her is a very, very wine. skilled archer. That's true. Extremely skilled. Um, if there were to be a perhaps poison tipped arrow. <laughs> or you see where I'm going with this. We don't have to go with poison tipped arrow. It we could just be a regular arrow. arrow. Well, well, regular placed arrow. Arrow. well placed arrow. Well placed arrow that we could potentially add additional padding, she will hit the mark. I mean, the arrow would have to pierce the chest. You know what? <laughs> Here's what we can do. I have the ability to uh, mix up some stuff that will make something that appears to be red and bloody, that we can then place in an area with additional padding so that upon impact, it would pierce that and not your flesh, giving the illusion. appearance, illusion if you will, mm. of, uh, of a fatal blow. Well, I guess that's the plan. I, I feel like killing. if they're killers, they're gonna want my head. If they haven't asked for it yet, we can jump off that cliff when we get to it. I mean, there's enough of them here to have all of our heads. We will fight to the death yeah. to make sure that doesn't happen. We with, will defend with your you. your personal arm, our guard as well. Okay, we'll fake my death. Hope that they don't come from my body. Well, they're going to be right next to you, so they're going to grab you. And you may not know this. Our, our paladin here was a loyal member of your military. She has been defending you and this realm for years. She knows how it works. She will be able to slip in. She could stand with a memory of your guard right now and fit in perfectly. Are you saying she should join the guard as a undercover? Thinking that might be a good thing. So how do we explain two missing seats at the table of great honor? I don't know if that would really give us anything. If she was dirty and wasn't allowed in. That's, that's how we have two missing seats. You weren't allowed in because you were not presentable. Maybe you, maybe you had fight. a bad mm -hmm. sandwich at lunch. <laughs> there was an alligator fight. And there, there are ways that we can justify this. Okay. Do you have the ability to make this blood pack here? Because we're really close to the banquet. Well, this is a very lush tropical area. There are a lot of flowers, a lot of flora and fauna of many colors and many types. You don't have time. Come on. Can you do like a minor a... illusion on him? I can. I can do a, I can do a major image on him. Yeah, that's like if I just shoot him with a, a padded arrow. Well, not even an arrow. It's just like a stick with like... Shaft. It okay. won't fly well. Can you get a blunt tip? Can you just cut mm. the tiny tip off? Make it a little less? That'd probably be all right. 
pointy. Yeah. I'd still like to put a little extra padding underneath your armor just to be yeah. safe. And then no, you, yeah, it sounds fine to me. I'm sure. <laughs> and then Jeez. you do an illusion, and I can like cover, or someone can cover the body so that no one can see if the illusion ends. And there as soon as he comes down, we surround him, and we immediately start moving him away. Immediately, you you as a member of the guard will be right there. We as members of his loyal, honored guests can also be there as well to assist, but you can even, in your position, you'll be able to command the guard, get them to do what needs to be done, boom, just like that. And I think your guard should, like, fake arrest Claire mm. and bring right. her to where we are. Yes. So, Cynthia, part of your deal being you know, in the guard... Good, red, bad, bad. Order, arrest her, take her alive. That's the order. All right. If she's not alive, I'll have your head kind of thing. So is she dressing up like one of the guard? I think she needs to like get in one of the guards, even if it means that guy's taking off his armor. Hey, uh, um, you, strip off, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. And one of the guard, seems about the same size, starts taking off guard's clothes. Your Highness, I can say what you're doing here could save a family member of a dear friend, and for that, you have my loyalty, sir. Give him the balance. Anything I can do to help you, I will. I'm worried about this plan. So am I. Me too. I'm also worried about her sister, so we'll hope that it works as best as it can. Okay, so the king is a little bit reckless. He's a former adventurer, and if there's anything we learn from how many episodes of Heroes of Awesome that uh, adventurers are reckless as hell, that said, he is fairly careful. He listens to their plans. He trusts them. He's, he's gotten word of them and from them about their exploits. Uh, he's done his research. He's found out about them. And, you know, he trusts that she can take the shot. And if not, he's got his own little things he can do. Shall you head down to the banquet? Precede me? Mm-hmm. Yes. We'll dally here for a, a moment. Yes. And then follow. And we'll make our arrival, our scheduled arrival, to the banquet. I really hope I make this shot. <laughs> One. <laughs> you now have my inspiration, I just Thank to you. make sure. Thank you. Kira and I are going to head to the banquet. Uh-huh. Get into the banquet. You make your way to the back. Yeah. Now, in the back of this, basically, it makes a natural auditorium from, like, this cliff that you could pretty easily climb um, if you want to be at the top of the cliff. Okay. I'm gonna and give you the, the best possible vantage point. Yep. So you guys arrive down to the banquet and you see like the pyres lit. Uh, each of the tables has uh, a small fire um, that seems to be magically lit. Um, Magic. Or like dancing lights. We'll do dancing lights. Um, there are some People just bringing food. All the tables are full of uh, uh, dignitaries, um, islanders, and it's all like a good mix of of, of races, classes. Um, Everyone is invited to this shindig. I mean, it's not the whole island, but it's like a a, a large number of people that, movers and shakers, kind of people that go to like these kind of things. Here is who is at the table now. There is a... Young man seated here. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is, uh, you would assume, he's very, very plain clothes. You know, he's probably got his nicest stuff on, but there's not much to it. Um, he's very lean and sinewy and strong. You would guess probably the fisherman. Fisher. This seat is empty. This seat is. Oh, I'm sorry. This seat is empty. This seat. Uh, the man standing by there is Zara Katul. The guide to the southern isles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Zara. So these two seats are empty? Um, this one has um, an island man that is uh, more dressed like a mainlander. Um, he has glasses and he seems very well educated and he's got a lot of poise. The center, you would assume, is where the king is to be seated. Mm -hmm. And the four seats to his right are all empty. You see little little pieces of uh, parchment with 
your names. Oh, right next to him. <laughs> Furthest is Claire de Lune. <laughs> <laughs> what? Preparations were made. Uh, Sandia is second in, then Kira Knightley, and then Tarwil. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we'll get in uh, as we're making our way through the crowd. Obviously, pay the passing deference to all the dignitaries as needed. Z Zada Katul has a big grin on his face. Welcome. Zada, is wonderful to see you. This is a beautiful event you all have put together. Oh, I'm glad you're, you're here to enjoy it with us. As am I. Very excited, and thank you for the hospitality. Oh, absolutely. Everyone rises immediately, and you see... The king and his guards, including Sandia, uh, approaching and, and marching with dignity and poise and uh, very stately looking. I, I think it was probably pretty cool for Sandia to do the undercover soldier thing. She was a soldier for a little while before she joined the Heroes of Awesome. It was probably pretty neat. Before they get too close, can I like catch that ear real quick? Yeah. Exada, what's the empty chair over there for? Uh, that's for the king's advisor. Who's the king's advisor? Uh, he'll be here shortly. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The oh, king yes. gladly talks to you as he passes by. He's like, hello, friends. Thank hello. you again for your joining and being here tonight. And the guard lines up behind the, the table. Uh, immediately, people are bringing you, like, beverages and, and small... Um, Salads of, of like fruit salads and like little appetizers and stuff. You're on the cliff. You're kind of making out what's going on. You're looking for any signs of red bands. Mm -hmm. You see none. None. Zada Katul stands up after everyone's been seated. Says, "Welcome, my friends and my family, to the shallow. Wait, was that? No, I'm sorry. The solemn shallows." Um, we hope that you appreciate the view of this beautiful sunset and you guys so You see everyone swivel around on the chairs and watch it. And it's like it's gorgeous it's, You just see like the Sun glimmering off the waters Beautiful view none of you have seen anything like it. it's very breathtaking for this event. We uh, Wanted the the most beautiful sight the most wonderful food and the best of friends and allies here uh, in in welcoming our king Everyone, King Griddlebin. He thanks you. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> G -G. Yeah, yeah, they all kind of like, hey. What well, was that thing they said at the King Subtoe? Sure, well, we'll just follow along mm -hmm. with everybody else. Hey. Hey. Hi. I think they just say hail to the king, right? I think so. Someone tell us in comments. The king stands. He says, thank you, King Cthulhu. King Cthulhu. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> That's Tarwell's king? <laughs> Katua leans back. <laughs> <laughs> what? Apparently he's king down here. Which? <laughs> Very well. I don't know which king I'm supposed to be killing. He's the king of the Southern Isles. Yeah. Okay. Not the king of the, the overall king of the kingdom. Right. This guy has bent the knee <laughs> to King Gretelman. There you go. There you go. Sada has been the king. I've planned that the entire time. They were greeted by the king and they had no idea. And they're like, oh, no, cool, you're Tor, great, whatever. That has to be like an honorary title, because isn't there just one king? At least I know in Game of Thrones there can be lords and stewards and... There's like eight kings in Game of Thrones. Well, they're not like, not according to Cersei. Greetings, my subjects, my friends. Thank you for joining me here. I've not one for flowery words. I just want to, uh, I appreciate your being here. I appreciate that we work together. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot now. Oh, He's standing, right? Uh, he is. Sure. Going now? All right. Oh gosh. Oh my God. I'm going too early. <laughs> He's standing. I'm not gonna wait around for this. I'm not gonna stop you. Oh, stop her, come on. Oh, she's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Oh, if he's standing, I, I get the best shot of him. Jeez. And I need to have room for his chest. But there's an empty seat we haven't seen yet. Well, whoever that is is gonna notice. Can I, can I, um, have I seen her? Do I know where she is? Is she completely out of sight? You see her on the cliff. I mean, can I see that she's getting ready to take a shot? Yeah, give me a perception. 
Uh, Tim. Uh, you don't really spot it. All right. You give me an intelligence roll. <laughs> yeah. I mm-hmm. carefully yeah. hand you the sending stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Uh, is there like a, I guess, 19? You uh, feel like this isn't the best shot. This isn't quite the time. Okay. You feel like there are things to unfurl that should still occur. Okay. <laughs> Meaning don't ruin my encounter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I worked hard on this, man. It's just too soon. I'll stop. Okay, all right. That is the plan. Mm-hmm. Things should happen first. <laughs> I see, you're going to say, it's like, and I'm not one for flowery yeah, words, okay. so let's sit down and have some golden gill. Everyone cheers him on. Now, the, the people are not being served Golden Gill, but you all see, like, the, the cooks come up and put, put, like, a delicious-looking plate of fish in front of each of you. Oh, we're all. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Zada looks great. The king looks great. Uh, the dignitary looks a little worried, but mostly okay. The fisherman's just super thrilled. Uh, and the king, like, leans over and gives him the thumbs up for the fine catch. Uh, the fish is uh, prepared raw, um, but it looks like very colorful, very pretty. Okay. It's like, well, as usual, <coughs> first bite is, is my honor. So to the, the continued friendship between our kingdom. Give me a perception roll, Tarawil. That's 17 plus 19. You spot he does not have that ring on. Maybe he put it on his toe. Shifty with this dude. What a bummer. Like, why Why not? Just why not? Just to be safe. Like, what's it hurting? Nothing. He brings the spoon, or the, the fork up to his mouth, um, eats the fish, and chews it. It's like, wonderful as ever. My friends, please join me in partaking in the rare right? delicacy of the Golden Gill. <laughs> All right. I'm going to eat some golden gill. All right. I'm going to move it around my plate for a little minute. <laughs> Let's screw this up. It's a big thing. Oh, yeah. Very big honor. Very big honor. It's like that scene in Indiana Jones. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Monkey brains. Yep. I, yes, I eat it. Begrudgingly. Right. need both of you to make a constitution saving throw. Yeah. But, so, I should have kept that in. <laughs> oh, critical fail. You got a two, a one, and a two. Tyra will eats it, chews it. Immediately his stomach's like... <laughs> You're like, it's okay. It doesn't... Well, that's way too not necessarily agreeing with you, Akira, but... Uh, Three in total. It's not fish. Everyone's like enjoying food and sitting. Could have been worse. About a moment later. Uh oh, here it is. Tire wheel slumps over dead. Right in his food. The king goes, oh my god, it did not agree with him at all. <laughs> oh no. I really should have, oh. It's been fun, guys. Oh. Is it too late to put, oh sorry. <clears throat> send, send for my man, please. Yeah, it's awesome, awesome, good, 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 I'm dead, great, great, critical, perfect. Of all the freaking rolls to get a critical fail on, that's the one I get. Awesome. Great. One of the guards hurries off and comes back with um, a half, or I'm sorry, a full elf, uh, golden hair. Very, very impressive looking clothes. Um, and you're all watching. Everyone's watching with fascination as this elf comes over and, and leans over Tyrell's body and starts you know, murmuring and saying things. Stands back, sneers, goes back to murmuring and saying things. Do I recognize what he's saying? Um, it's a, My elf ears? It's a prayer. Now you're close enough to know that it's he's... He's revivifying him. Then carry on. Um, <laughs> and I believe revivify gives one hit point back. One hit point. <laughs> well, <laughs> Tarwheel starts coming to, and everyone cheers <laughs> and applauds. 
It's like, and there, there's murmurs, like and there's, you hear some people kind of laughing about like, oh my God, another one died. Another one died. <laughs> <laughs> this Tyrell, you're groggy, meal. and you're, you're really not feeling good. But that tastes great. And you, <laughs> you feel like you're seeing things, because you turn around, and you see your brother. Uh-huh. Oh, but did you know this was going to happen? Not it was. I reckon no. But you reckon? No. When he started describing it, I was like, "That's totally his brother." <laughs> that uneasy feeling you had. Mm-hmm. You you know why you had it. What kind of robes is he wearing? Um, he's wearing a lot of white clothing. Mm-hmm. With golden golden trim. Yes. Not a full-on robe, but he's wearing armor and and like regal clothing. Whispers. Sit down, have another bite. Or maybe don't. Please, don't worry about me. Mm -hmm. I'll just take my seat. Oh my god. So, when you go back, or just a second ago in the episode, they said someone in your guard wearing a white robe with gold trim he doesn't have anyone like that in his guard there is an advisor it's not exactly in his court he's there for that trip as part of their uh you know peacekeeping what have you you know there was there was half a little thing in my brain that thought he was around here i lean over to kira kira yep First off, feel like crap. Yep, you kind of died there a little bit. <laughs> Clearly, still tastes great. <laughs> Stop! No, I, I mean, pushed no. it away. <sighs> okay. Uh, <laughs> kind of died. Second part. <clears throat> mm. Guy over there. Mm-hmm. It's my brother. Um. The evil son of a bitch. I mean, I've heard a little bit about him. So yeah, we probably haven't talked much. He's an evil son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, like, so not good. No, advisor. no, no. Super bad. Yeah, that's his advice. Oh super bad. I um, totally love that he got to hold your life in his hands for a little bit. Yeah, not really happy about that. Listen, um, we're screwed <laughs> right now. Um, yeah, isn't he like kind of, he has his own army? Yeah, he's kind of a big deal. Um, we're screwed. So um, we need to call off. How the heck are we going? There is enough conversation amongst all the mm-hmm. tables yeah, that I you guys are able to keep. Oh yeah, we're enough. like. Yeah. Right, just make a check. You're seeing all this happen. You basically think you see Tarwell. I'm like <laughs> drop into his food. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. <laughs> yeah, we're we're. Does we're, it feel like the right time now? He's seated and eating and laughing. Dude, and this. So if. And you see this new player on the board. You They're don't know who that is. is. Mm-hmm. But does that person look familiar to me with the white robes? I don't, well. You you notice a lot of white. You don't really, you're not close enough to see gold trim. Okay, here's, here's the thing. This guy wasn't with the party. He doesn't know the plan. But he, what if he's with the Knights of the Rose? He's clearly with the Knights so of the Rose. He, knows, he doesn't know our plan. What well, do you want to do? The plan is clear um, well, shooting him. I'm just going to yes. keep my cover. And they know what Claire can do, and they want Claire to guard. kill him. So I feel give me a, like it's fairly give me a performance roll. Oh. There. Fun. I won't kill him if I can. Um, eight like plus two, so ten. Wait, that's no. eighteen. Is that an eighteen? Oh, it's an eighteen. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I knew this would be an issue eventually. <laughs> 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 can somebody buy her some dice? <laughs> I'll get some. <laughs> Despite your friend slumping to his death and then being revived, and then knowing something is up that you can't quite hear what's going on, you are able to maintain your stoic persona. Can yeah. I low-key heal him a bit while we're talking? You can. Well, what's Belly using? I don't need to just... I have... He neutralized the poison, so cure wounds. All right. Is there a verbal component to that? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're talking. You can do it pretty discreetly and quietly. Mm-hmm. It's a level one spell. It is. I'm going to use it at level two. That's fine. Cool. You're going to do that. Ten. Plus your... Ten plus... 
my, my spell speed. casting. How did I put that on here? Zero wisdom. Four. Okay, so I'm at 15. Feeling good. Feeling better. Kind of want another bite. No. <laughs> I think she's already like, no. oh, I. No. It's really good though, that sauce. Yep, stop. <laughs> stop. Stay in the course. Okay. Stay in the course. What's, what's, what's brother doing over there? Just, he just who? Brother. Oh, small guy back. Oh, he's uh, uh, just kind of like take holding court, S sitting haughtily, watching, watching everyone eat, watching, observing, listening. Okay. Do I hear anyone around me at all? Am I the only person? You're like the only person there. How, how do I feel about now? I mean, you feel like you might wait for a second for him to get up a little better, or you can take the shot now. You feel pretty confident in your abilities. It's not an easy shot. I'll wait and see if maybe he'll stand up. Okay. Um, everyone give me a perception. 16. 19. Um, 19, and I don't think I have a bonus on that. The 19. 14. Okay. Um, it's a hot night on the island. The sun has set. It's become evening. It hasn't really cooled down all that much. Anybody else notice it a little stuffy out here? Uh -huh. A little bit a, sweltering. I expect a, a cool breeze from the ocean, and I'm not really feeling that right now. Is there any breeze at all? Not really. This seems pretty still. But... Most people are going on. It doesn't seem so unusual that everyone notices. Just mostly you guys. I mean, that's good for me shooting. That is good I for know. you shooting. Would you like to take the shot? I take. I'm gonna take the shot. All right. So I'm like hunkered down. So I'm like totally stable. Like I can feel that there's no breeze. And I have my arrow that's been like the tips been cut down and he's he's padded I'm gonna shoot for this area Let's see what happens Ooh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Ooh, yeah so 28 I did nail the shot and it's a uh, big thanks to Mark for giving me that inspiration because my die was a three. I probably would have hit Tarwell. <laughs> you let it fly and over the heads of everyone else there's a slight whistle and you hear a thunk as the arrow finds its target. Major image. King's chest. What is your major image? Major image is the, uh, the image of that sinking in, broken armor, blood coming out, what would look like a wound. I mean, I've seen these kind of wounds. So a bad, bad, a mortal wound on the chest. Any other details you'd like to add? Uh, uh, the We're all splattered. Oh, oh, there, there you go. Yeah, that's good. Uh, some blood on the table as well. The king... For his place his part well, like he looks down and like tips the chair back. Oh, right, I'm sorry, it's the stool, so he just falls back. <laughs> he swivels his way <laughs> out. <of me>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just falls, falls into backwards, and you guys jump on him. Yeah, just everyone jumps up and screams. Most everyone jumps up and screams. Your brother has a seat and picks off some food in someone else's plate. Mm -hmm. um, everyone else is like very alarmed and freaked out. The brother slowly gets up, <clears throat> and you guys are doing what? Uh, well, what are you I doing? Can, you gotta be I'm doing going thing. to rush forward with what I imagine the rest of the soldiers are doing, and I'm going to point over in the direction that the arrow came from, and I'm going to be like, find them, take them alive. Mm -hmm. I'm immediately over, and I am like, Trying to like stop the bleeding, kind of thing, really kind our of working. Bring our napkins. Working with <laughs> napkins and everything like that. Um, you know what? I'm even going to um, subtly slice my hand on the arrow. Mmm, nice. 
get some of that stuff on there and mm-hmm. be like, we got to, we got to hurry. We've got to take him out of here. Get him. We got to get him to his quarters. We got to get him to his quarters. Something's happening. You take two points of damage. <laughs> but I pass over dead. It looks good. The blood <laughs> is dead again. Dead again. <laughs> the blood is getting all over and really adding to the effect. And you can even kind of, you feel like you can maybe even let up the, uh, the spell a little bit. Cool. All right. If it, if it comes to that. Right. That was pretty awesome. That was a great idea for him to cut his hand on, on the blade and use some real blood. Okay, I will like help. I'm assuming someone's helping me move the king, right? Well, he's kind of hunkered over him, making okay. him bleed. Okay, I'm there. We're, we'll help you. Three of us. Okay. Okay, you guys are all three, like, sort of surrounding the king. Yes. Yes. Um, Zada uh, and the fisherman and the dignitary are also, like, very concerned and looking and, like, what's going on? And, um, the brother um, says, I saw the assailant. It's on the, she's, she's on the cliff. Mm-hmm. Bring her back here. We'll question her and we'll make her pay. Yep. Still kind of part of the plan, I think. Mm-hmm. It's kind of. What but are you it, doing? I am getting, I'm getting down the cliff and I'm going to find somebody that I know is in the army. Mm-hmm. Well, the, yeah, the guards ran off to, the ones that were with her ran off to. Okay, so I, I can see which guard she talked to, and I'm going to try and head towards them. Okay. You all hear this loud, flapping noise. WTF. Oh, jeez. All of a sudden, there is a breeze. A very hot, oh, no. hot breeze. If we have to kill the dragon, <laughs> I swear to God. A breeze. But it's a warm breeze. Freaking A. Freaking A. People scream. Oh my God. People start running. Oh boy. Everyone oh, is gosh. in a panic. <sighs> Out from the sky comes the hot breath. And air My brother got himself a damn dragon. surrounding a massive red dragon. It's just a baby dragon, though. No. <laughs> it's just a baby. Tyrawill looks at Sendia in expectation. <laughs> you know that dragon. Oh Ooh, keep it, keep it, keep it. Stay the course, stay the course, stay the course. Sendia, save the king, save the king. Save the king. Save the king, Sendia. You gotta keep, keep. Save the king. Most important right now. Focus, focus, focus. Save the king. This is your king. You pledge your loyalty to him. He's lying on the ground needing you right now. Is anyone in the crowd in immediate danger? They are all oh, yeah. running away, but a <laughs> giant started. dragon has just landed and just prowls behind all the tables looking at what's going on. You hear it say, Hi. Amrakazeth. Are we ready for a dragon? Like, I don't, this seems like dragons are, I don't know, like level 20. If there are 20 levels, I don't even know. It seems above our pay grade right now. Ever since the first unboxing we did, me and Abby doing the first set of Dungeons and Dragons, I've wanted to use this guy. I've been so excited about bringing him out. Sendi is main enemy. The Heroes of Awesome main enemy. He's actually been in the bag before. I brought him for a previous adventure. Maybe you know which one it is. I look over, what is Tarwheel's brother's reaction to the dragon? He's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. You see like the flourish of white heading off in this direction. Which direction? That way? Over here. Mortals plan. Mortals make foolish decisions. I have come. To sway you, to make you change your plans. Your king dies. Does anyone speak Draconian? I speak Draconic. Draconic, yeah. Uh, Rakazeth is uh, means son of oblivion. All right, I, I still I still say we got to get the king out of here right now. How about we call it? Oh, what? Good, I have longer to think about it. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that was fun, huh? Good times, right? It's all just happening right here. If you wanna see what happens next or even what happened before, you should make sure you click over there to see more of our videos. Don't forget to click down there to subscribe. If you like us and wanna see more, go over there to our Patreon and big thanks to Outlaw Moon Games and Toys for being awesome and letting us shoot here for all these years. See you later.